How's it going guys? Our Triple XC, aka the Rage and Cajun here, and it has been a very uh, well a very long time since we've last spoke on the old YouTube channel here. Um to be quite frank with you and to be honest with you, because I'm I'm turning a new leaf. I'm gonna be a little more um myself with you guys, because there's really no point to be, you know, all prim and proper anymore. I just with everything going on in the world, I've come to some realizations in life and I just want to be a little more, you know, myself. So, um, you know, it might be a little more adult words uh, in my common life. I tend to use some bad swear words. So if you don't like those, maybe don't watch me anymore or whatever. Um, but I don't, uh, I don't feel like holding back anymore, especially from you guys. Because uh, at this point, the only people who are going to be watching this are the people who are like my true fans. But that's not the thing. I am back, and I am in your presence now, because something happened today that I didn't think was going to happen for a long time, or recently, I didn't think it was going to happen ever. Um, a Bakugan video game got re it got revealed for the Nintendo Switch, and um, I'm a huge Switch fan. Uh, I have a ton of Switch games. I played Pokemon, obviously, and all that stuff, so I'm really excited about this. Um, I, I saw the trailer like half a second. I've been out wedding planning uh, with the fiance today for a long time and my phone started blowing up and people started sending me all these discord messages and stuff and so um i saw it and i just freaked out we were at lunch and i was trying to be you know respectful and not play on my phone the whole time but i i really wanted to uh so i want to take a look at the trailer with you guys uh, i'll give you my quick little words and reviews on it let's see what it's looking like and it seems like there's a gameplay trailer here I'm gonna check that out too. Uh, it's really long, so we're not gonna look at the whole thing. But let's check out the trailer here, guys. This is Bakugan, Champions of Vestroya. Okay, so I'm stupid, and I haven't done a video in a while, so I didn't record my initial reaction to this. Um, so we're gonna go back and check it out. Uh, but this way I can at least make it a little more concise and my thoughts are in the right place. Um, we're gonna watch the trailer. Let's go ahead and check out just the trailer first. Um, a lot going on, all right? So this is Bakugan Champions of Vistroya. There's the theme song, baby. Cindy's looks cool. I like that they're using the models from the TV show. That's really neat. There you go. Um, okay, so now that I'm recording this after I originally recorded this, went on Twitter and saw reactions from people. And what seems to have happened, I've been busy all day, uh, wedding planning and stuff. What seems to have happened here is that, uh, let me go to a good still so we have something to look at. All right, so what seems to have happened here is Nintendo like hyped up something was going to be shown today and people thought it was going to be like of course Nintendo fans were like it's going to be Metroid it's going to be a new Zelda it's going to be a Pokemon game with really clear looking trees on it and uh, that's not what happened we got a Bakugan game so what's happened now is that the Bakugan community is really excited because we have something expanding our little universe and it's really cool uh, I'm really excited. I play Bakugan. I got the YouTube channel. Uh, I was hyper focused on this game for about a year. Um, so I mean, I'm great. I, I feel good about this. Um, we're gonna look at some gameplay here, uh, and maybe you'll see what people are talking about. Graphics, not the best things in the world. Um, if uh, my internet acts well with me. All right, so it's an RPG. You walk around. You talk to people. And then, so let's look at the gameplay here. I'm into it because it seems like Pokemon, okay? Um, you know, it's one-on-one -on -one battles. You have different moves that have cooldowns. Um, and the Baku cores here on the ground are going to supplement your cooldowns. So he just threw that at Dragonoid and he just got his cooldowns uh, boosted up. You can adjust all of these moves to different things. They're called ability cards, which is cool. Um, Animations-wise, let's be honest, it's not the cleanest thing in the world. The models are great. 
All right, some of the animations. All right, you just hit her or Pegatrix or whatever. But they keep like rearing back up and forth to each other here and they're not taking damage. So is the only time you're doing damage when your cooldown goes up. Because that seems a little weird, right? I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. We'll have to see once more gameplay comes out. Um, so that's the battles. Uh, Y'all can check this out yourself. Um, there's a little section in here with some inventory management. Uh, I always like to look at that. All right. So we have a menu here. Um, press start to open the menu. All right. So you have your team where you can set up your Bakugan team with the Baku abilities, which we'll look at in a second. Quest map, brawler, uh, Baku log, and the menu, of course. Um, and then once you get in here, uh, these are your Baku abilities. So it says it's a list of Bakugan ability cards. You have an ability card that can only be slotted into one Bakugan at a time. All right, cool. So they each get four little slots and you collect these little ability cards and drop them in their slots. So you kind of get to customize your Bakugan um, as you use them. Um, and then what's cool about it is that the different Bakugan, it's kind of like a faction system like we have in the TCG. Um, and it's going to be like a, a Pokemon, what do you call that, round robin or whatever, where, you know, certain things are strong against other things. So I'm, I'm almost certain Chaos is going to be strong against Darkus, and then, you know, Aquas beats Pyrus, Pyrus beats Ventus, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'd like to see where Auralis comes into the situation. It seems that Leonidas is going to be an Auralis Bakugan. Um, so Leonidas is back, all right? So that's a big deal for a lot of people. Um, if you played those original games back in the Gap, um, there was this dude named Leonidas, and he was kind of a little dragonoid clone, but he was his own thing, and he was like the protagonist dragon dude. He was a big deal. I didn't play those games, so I don't have that, like, connection. Um, but I know for a lot of people, that's, like, one of the main things that people have been begging and complaining about for the new... Uh, reboot is there's no freaking Leonidas so my, he might show up in the show now y'all might get like a big wish granted and he might show up in the show who knows um, but he's gonna be here um, I didn't see any other really important things you can just find Bakugan in the wild so this dude walks up to a fountain and he presses A and he just found an Aquasindius now I will say this character model looks pretty great, but it's Cyndia. Cyndia is already pretty dope anyway. Um, but it's the Aquas colors with the orange and stuff. It's like, at least they took their time painting the models, you know, well. It could just be all blue. They could have just reskinned it to some dumb stuff. Um, but, I mean, they took that time. Uh, this seems to be like the team uh, setup screen. Um, so we have a party of Chaos Cyndia's. Uh, Aqua Cindius, which I mean, it's literally just recolor reskins, but I mean, at least there's different factions in the game. I mean, that's cool. I like that. Um, I don't know if this is first up, second up, third up. So I don't see any level system here. I don't see like leveled up or, you know, ability level. Okay, so he's got. Oh, there are Evos! <gasps> oh, man! I was worried about this. Okay. So I'm glad I did this a second time. <laughs> okay, so I was worried about Evos. Um, who gets Evos? Let me see, does he go to Cyndius? Yes. He's got Evo. <gasps> All right, so are they gonna animate? Are we gonna have a new model for each Evo? There's Hyper Dragonoid, there's Dragonoid Maximus, there's all this other stuff. I feel like Maximus might be a different Bakugan altogether. Um, oh, but that's interesting. Okay, so you got a little level up bar. These seem to be different levels, and then you can get to the Evo. Um, you got different stuff. So we got B power is 86. So what does that mean? All right, so your Bakugan converts energy into a self-healing aura, so you heal 21. All right, so your max HP here is 251. I don't know what EP. That might be your uh, energy points. But then what does B power have to do with it? Is that your attack strength? So this thing resists everything? Is that what it's saying? Or nothing? And like nothing's over here. I don't know. Alright, so we got some attacking moves. This seems to be some sort of armor buff. Um, and you get to keep track of the game stats for each Bakugan. It's kind of neat. Um, and he switched it here. So we have Energy Blast. Your Bakugan turns energy into plasma. 94 blast damage. Okay, so 
Maybe you have different defenses for different kinds of damage. I'm not really sure. Who knows? Uh, but, I mean, other than that, gameplay, I'm going to be honest with you, a little slow. Um, but it's like a turn-based RPG strategy game. So, I mean, you're used to it or you're not. Um, it's kind of whatever. Um, I, mean, you did, I don't know. There's no, like, level-up system, it seems like. It's, well, I guess there is with the level-up thing. But I'd love to know how evolutions work. Cyrus looks great. Uh, s s the Cyrus Bakugan looks so much better than the toy. The toy is ugly. But the Cyrus thing, like the actual Cyrus, is really cool. Um, uh, okay, so this, see, like, this is, this looks cool. Like, I'm, I'm down with this. Like, I'm, get, I'm, I'm, it's, it's rustling my jimmies a little bit when I look at this kind of stuff. And when we start bringing in new stuff, like trucks and, you know, some cooler looking Bakugan, like Hydrus. Imagine Hydrus on the screen. That's going to be kind of cool. Um, but I'm not blind to this. Graphics wise, it's a little dumbed down, right? The models look good, but if you look behind at the trees and the houses, it's not the cleanest thing in the world. These little characters down here, um, they look like chibi figures. They're not very, you know, detailed. I understand. But if you're new here, and you're new to this whole Bakugan thing. We cannot be beggars and choosers, right? We, we can't... <laughs> we're getting a game. We need to be happy that we're even getting a game, okay? Our TCG is in a rough spot. And, um, you know, this is just another thing. And you can online battle with this. Like, I'm going to get to play with all my like Baku Master friends and people on Discord and stuff that I haven't been able to play actual Bakugan with, so I actually get to control my, you know, interactions with people a little better. And that's, that's fine. And, you know, I, I'm, I, I like being in a franchise with other people, right? So even if I'm not getting to play the TCG, okay, we can play this video game, you know, and get on Discord and talk about Bakugan and all this stuff. Of course, you got to get to Discord because Switch doesn't have the voice chat. That's a whole other different story. But, um... I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'd love to see more gameplay, obviously, okay? Um, this running around, picking up the course thing doesn't seem like enough. Like, it doesn't seem like it's going to hit the right way. Um, but I'm interested to see, like, the different moves you can get for people, leveling up, what evolutions do for you. Is it going to be, like, mega evolving? Can you only evolve one Bakugan per battle? Which sounds like a good idea. Um, you only get three Bakugan. But, I mean, if... If you get to train them a certain way and stats are adjustable and things, I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. We don't have many stats, right? We don't have many stats. If you're looking at a Bakugan, this is this is changing the stuff, okay? Alright, so this one's doing 101 blast damage. So this is energy blast, this is stun shield. So there's different stuff. Choose the ability you're gonna replace. Got it. Right? So there's all kinds of different stuff. Where's the part? Alright, so let's go back to these stats, alright? So, does this mean that he resists everything, or he's strong against everything? And is it is it the faction that makes it resist things, or is it the Bakugan that makes it resist things? That's what we need to know, right? This dude's afro's in the way of some of my stats here. Um, alright, so this does 136 blast damage. It says energy cost is 111. So your max energy is 181. So this drains a lot. Right? So that's something else you kind of take into effect. What is the energy cost here of these different moves? And is there accuracy? But I don't see accuracy, so it's not like Pokemon, I guess. Not really RNG. But these energy things, you know, if you go pick up the big Baku core and sling it at him, and maybe you get a quick 100 energy, then maybe you can blast out another energy blast. And it's looking like things only have 227 HP. So, I mean, you're doing 136 blast damage. I mean, that's half of someone HP. Does that scale up when we get to higher levels? Well, what do Evos do? Do they boost the stats? Those are the kind of things I like to know. Um, and stuff I'd like to talk about. You know, if this game's good, I'd love to talk about this stuff and go into detail with stats and things. Um, but you have a bunch of different abilities for Chaos. I wonder if there's going to be different abilities like for Faction. Like, is it going to be 
like faction based like is Pyrus going to have its own attacks and Dark is going to have different things like a you know a drain or Ventus might have like a absorb absorb health or something and then Pyrus not have it I don't know but um, anyway I I think I recorded an intro so I'm gonna send it to future past me okay um, Bakugan's been in a weird place for a while now um, and a lot of you are just now noticing that it's a thing yes people there is a card game um, it's in a weird spot right now, uh, especially with COVID and everything going around right now. It's hard, the distribution's weird, whatever. Um, but for a year now, us in the community have been wanting a game, and it seems like, you know, it, I mean, it's kind of like Pokemon, and I like Pokemon, so I mean, it can't be too, too bad. I'm going to play it. I'll probably stream it here on the channel. Y'all can come hang out with me and stuff. Uh, and do some do some brawls over on, online. We could do online battles and stuff. I mean, this is, for me, and someone in my situation with Bakugan, um, being a Baku master and having the channel and everything, this is great. And, I mean, to be fair, and if we talk about it and think about it, I mean, the distribution's really bad with the card game and everything. Um, hopefully that's about to be bolstered with some online sales now, uh, which if you're new here, yes, we haven't had that yet. Um, we're just getting online sales, hopefully. Um, and some other things are happening in the background. Uh, but this game is way more accessible. I mean, once you buy it, hopefully there's no stupid DLCs or money packs or whatever. Hopefully everyone in the gaming community has learned from everyone's mistakes and they wouldn't do that here. Um, but I don't know. I'm actually kind of really excited for this. Uh, it's coming out November 3rd, I believe. Um, I don't know, man. It's really cool. This is like a, hopefully it could be a new beginning. I mean, for me, it gives me something to do on my channel. Um, you know, there's at least four or five videos I can get out of this game at least, you know, and if it's a really good game and has more depth than it appears to have here, um, then there's more stuff to talk about, you know, strategies and whatnot. Um, but man, I'm interested to see what evolutions do. They have to have evolutions in here, right? That's our whole, that's our whole deal. Everybody's got that. Um, maybe only certain ones, like the main characters, probably. Um, cause, you know, they all had their evolutions in the show. Uh, I, I'm, I'm basing this more around the show, uh, completely. But man, it's really cool. And this whole thing where you're like running around them in the area doing the Baku cores is cool. I hope there's more depth to that because it looks like they're just in a circle, a semicircle, and you're just going around the semicircle. So I don't know about that per se. But man, I think this is going to be cool. Uh, I can already see people like people outside of the game are saying, oh, this looks stupid. Okay, don't play it. I don't care. <laughs> Um, but for the Bakugan community, this is a big win. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, it got me off my ass and made me want to come make a YouTube video for once, uh, <laughs> in a long time. And it's really exciting, man. I'm sure we're going to get more information about this soon. Uh, and hopefully I can report on that to you if it's anything worth your time. Um, card game wise, the game is, is not speaking to me at the moment. That's why I haven't been posting. Um, but things are looking to turn around with all the background information. I know I've been working kind of close with Spin Master here recently, um, closer than most of the other people, just trying to figure out what the hell's going on and what we can do. Um, I want the Baku Master platform to be something that gives to the community more. I don't want to just be a talk, I'm clicking a pencil, pen, sorry. I don't want to just be a talking head on here that gets free stuff. Um, so uh, I, I, I've been in contact, I've been producing community concerns to people. Um, you know, uh, we had ruling questions and stuff that got answered recently. I set up that meeting. So, and I'm not taking credit for everything that happened. I'm just saying I've been trying to do things behind the scene, even though I haven't been posting or talking too much on Twitter about Bakugan and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely still a thing and hell, we got a game now. So. 
Um, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be coming back, making a few more videos and stuff. There's some Digimon stuff happening that I'm definitely about to be talking about um, because set two's wild. Uh, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if it's your first time here, please uh, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, too, if it's your first time. I'd love to talk to you. Um, I'm all over the Bakugan discords. A lot of you are probably looking into Bakugan right now. Check those out. Um, there's a Facebook group. I'm not on the Facebook group. I probably should be, but I don't feel like making a Facebook for my channel. Um, and also find me on Instagram. So YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram is really where you're going to get a hold of me. I also post to the Reddit a lot, too. So if you guys want to get into contact with me, that's where you go. But other than that, thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all being here, and uh, hopefully this leads to something, man. It's really exciting. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks.